Hi YouTube, meet the Q Buddies. That's what Nicholas and Sophia are calling these little Lego creatures. And Dad's out in the shop today, and I thought I'd show you how to build them for yourself. They only require just simple common parts, and it doesn't take much to put them together. So let's get started. They're built around a central core that's made up of a 2x2 two two on top, and then two layers of 2x4s, and a 2x2 two two on the bottom. We like to use white because we've got a lot of it, and that way we don't use up the color that we're using on the outside. Okay, there's our bottom layer. Start with a 2x2. Two two. Next layer is two 2x4s. Two just like that. The next layer will be these parts. We start by expanding around the back. Take a 2x4, two 2x4, by 2x4. Four, two by four, two by four. In the front on this side, we're going to use a 2x2 two two, because that leaves us room to put a 1x2 in here and leaves room for the mouth right there. A 1x4 plate will be used to make a jaw underneath here. And that will let you rest your mouth piece right there. And lots of different choices for a mouth. Use a 2x2 two two wedge like we've got here, or a 2x3 wedge ramp, or something crazy like a big, long, curved slope, whatever you feel like. And then we'll start the middle of our core, the bottom of our core, with that white 2x2 two two right there. So those are the first three layers. Put those extra mouth pieces there. The next layer will be built out of these parts. We'll start on the side with a 1x6 and another 1x6 on the other side, a 1x4 in the back, and now a white 1x4 in the front is the bottom of his eyes, and then two 2x2s, two, 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 two 2x4s in the middle, part of the core. Let's tighten it all up. Okay, there's the first four layers. Next layer is the eyeball layer, being made with these parts. So let's start at the back and take a 1x6 across the back, then a 1x2, and a 1x2. This is also where you can attach arms if you want. We like to build ours without arms, but if you want to have something to attach arms to, you can build out with those 1x2s right there. So keep that in mind if you want your creatures to have arms. And then a 1x3 on each side completes the front there. I'll fill in the core first and then I'll do the eyeballs. We like to have white cores in case you want to use a transparent, uh, something transparent, a transparent brick or something in the front for your eyeball because then it gives it a nice white background. You could also use black if you want it to be dark in the back. You can also flip this all upside down and put his eyeballs on the bottom. You see we've done that for some of them. Red has upside down eyeballs and blue and lime all have upside down eyeballs. So that's the fifth layer, the eyeball layer. Next layer is made out of these parts. This is an easy layer. 2 by 4s all the way around. And the top of our core. And as I said, at some point, if you get good at building these, it's easier to start with this core and then build it outward. But I'm building it bottom up because that's traditional Lego building style. Next layer is super easy. It's just two 2 by 4s We're going to fill in the middle part. And then the very tip top of his head is just a 2x2. Two two. And that is the head slash body. Looks like that. For legs, again, we don't put arms on ours, but you could, and you could build them however you want. For legs, there are a lot of options. This is a standard sort of option where it connects to his body with two 1x2s and then a 2x2 two two to bump it out a little bit. And we've chosen for this guy, we're going to give him a little ramp there, a little slope. 
but there's lots of things you could use for feet. Any kind of slope looks good like a foot. You can even use big tall slopes. You can use the corner slopes. Medium sized slopes. You can even use large bricks like this. Any of those will, will be good options. So again this is what we've done. As long as you've got something fairly uh, good sized at the bottom to serve as a foot, a 2 by 3 is probably the smallest that you want to go. Here's a really simple way to build if you don't have any fancy parts. 2 by 3 at the bottom, a 2 by 2, and then two 1 by 2s. And those will attach right next to that bottom 2 by 2 in the center there. And so he's got two different kinds of feet right now, but that's fine. It looks like that. I'll fix him up so that he looks right. I'm using a 2x2 two two ramp here, 2x2 two two slope, and a 1x2 behind it just to bring everything up to the same level. And fix the one that I broke. And he's basically done. Now for the eyes, you can also get a little tricky and build your eyeballs out of plates. Then you can make them wink, or you can use headlight bricks and then put uh, one by one plates on there or one by one tiles. Um, lots of different things you can do there. You can build little eyeballs inside with a plate and a round plate and then another plate. You can even use a one by one plate with a clip in order to bump out some eyelashes on top instead of the, just the plain plate there. Um, if you have them, sure, you can go ahead and use the printed pieces, printed eyeballs, even the yellow printed eyeballs uh, if you have them, but we like to build our own. We like to be able to move them around and change them, make different colors, and putting, like I said, putting transparent bricks in there with a white background from the core looks really cool. And that's it. That's all there is to them. Thanks for watching. Happy building. Okay, I can't resist. I talked about this and I gotta show it to you. I said that uh, after you've built a couple of these, it's actually a little bit easier to build from the core outward rather than from the bottom up. So if you've got your core built, which is just a 2x2 two two and then two layers of 2x4s two and a 2x2 two two on top, you just start wrapping the top with 2x4s of your chosen color. This is the third from the top level. The second from the top level is just another two two by fours. The very top level is just a two by two. And that's the top of him. And if you have a set of eyes done, these are kind of different eyes, but those will go in right there. And then you just start wrapping the sides with one by bricks. It's a one by six, one by four in the back, one by six on the side. And then this is the arm layer, remember, if if you want to put arms in there's that 1x2 that you can swap out for something to connect arms with. And a 1x6 across the back. Another 1x2 and a 1x3. That's the bottom eye layer, the arm layer. And then wrap the bottom with mostly 2x4s. This is our mouth layer, so we have to leave room to attach the mouth. I'm going to use a wedge. Let's use something a little bit different just because we can. Let's use a larger one just so you see them look a little different this time. And we'll fill in behind with a 1 by 2 and a 2 by 2 on this corner. That's the mouth layer. So we're looking like that. And then at the bottom, again, two 2 by 4s and the 1 by 4 plate as his jaw that helps hold the mouth in there. That's the main purpose of that. It adds a little more detail to his face and it holds the mouthpiece in there a little better. And then at the very bottom, two by two, and then legs attach as before on the side of the two by two. The foot was backwards. And then he's all done. So he's kind of winking at you with some kind of robot eye, just to show you differences in eyes also. But they go together really quick. And they're all just pretty much basic parts. Thanks for watching. Happy building.